guys, Maripat Kov here. Over the next few weeks we will create our very own lightsaber using Adobe Photoshop, 3ds Max, ZBrush and Keyshot for render. We will start by concepting some silhouettes in Adobe Photoshop. We will use them as a reference in 3ds Max where we will block out a low poly version of the model. Using ZBrush we will create a higher level of details, sculpt some additional features in, texture it, poly paint it and prepare it for beauty render in Keyshot. In this first episode, we will break down the lightsaber, we will see what makes it so iconic and create a bunch of concept silhouettes to use in our future videos. We don't have much time, there's a lot to do, so let me grab a beer and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, we're back in Photoshop, I have my beer, there's nothing to hold us back anymore. Let's open these two pictures I've googled really quick, I'll tell you why. We are building an original design, that's true. But since it is a lightsaber that is one of the most iconic parts in the Star Wars universe, it has to be believable. When someone goes to your art station or Davian art, they have to Im immediately believe that this one could fit inside the movies or the books or the video games. So I think they are. It is important to just take a couple of minutes and see what we're building. Now, first of all, these are all from the Star Wars The Old Republic online video game. These are the original lightsabers from the movies, and this is something that I just enjoy and like, and I think I'll be using especially this part, this cloth. It, give, it gives the feeling that it's old, it's been used in battle or something or whatever, slicing your turkey. Um, and here I will just let me get a new layer and select red and get the brush tool. We'll be using this to divide our lightsaber. First of all, we will separate the parts that are different from that are distinctable. This is this right here is the power cell. Every lightsaber here has one. You see, this one has it, this one has it, this one has it. The ones in the movies all have, have it. And this is where, where the lightsaber is powered up. And then you have the hilt, where the crystals are. And besides, you hold a blade inside the hilt. There are two crystals that generate the blade. You got the buttons, one of it, just the, the length of the blade. The other just powers it on. Uh, like the movies have much dis more distinctable buttons than those from the game from the samples that I've downloaded and then you have the the guard it serves two purposes really like here it is obviously used to protect your hand and here but also in designs like this one it's uh, e it's used more as a compressor that brings the the blade and the beam together like this and this so these are the four parts that we want to be different when we design and having said that let's close those pictures too those two pictures I'm talking like Yoda already and continue by creating our own concept sketches silhouettes let's start by creating a new canvas 1024 by 1024 is fine, a square piece is fine. And let's unlock the background layer and rename it BG. Sorry, Facebook. And now let's create a new layer that we won't touch for now. The background layer we will fill with 50% gray. Fill is shift backspace, by the way. And we'll start creating new guides. First, we'll create a vertical guide at 512, and this will split our our document right down the middle. We will create horizontal layers uh, guides, sorry, at 256, 512, and you know where I'm going with that, 768. Now we have eight exactly the same pieces on our canvas. We will select a brush, give it black color, and make it smaller, 
and holding shift we will drag holding shift will drag across the, the guides sorry to separate them to separate the document I'm sorry to separate the document and not needing those obnoxious bluish lines from the view panel I disabled guides now we have place for eight concepts that we'll be doing this is a this is a technique that I have learned on digital tutors a great place for anybody who wants to learn anything and let's get sorry let's get back to it I will create one or two pieces to count one or two concepts uh, here and then I will speed up and time lapse it or pause it and come back to you when I'm done with all of them all right let's start by getting our the layer that we created we'll name it base for now get a black brush give it considerable size and create the base for our first lightsaber all right now let's do something more let's create the place for the power cell that we talked about sorry and all of this I'm doing all of this with just two types of uh, strokes one is holding shift and then sorry is start is clicking and holding shift and then you drag a straight line and the other is just hold shift and click and it drags a straight line from the last place you uh, that your stroke ha has been all right let's delete this I'm going I'm going to go to eraser and eraser I both eraser and brush tool I'm using square brushes if uh, they can default with Photoshop if you don't have them loaded just go to your brush uh, panel and go to preset manager load and there are your square brushes right and I will start by deleting some of those right now we have the back of the blade we will need something for the heel guard though and I'm thinking let's go back to the brush and reduce its side I'm thinking something like this but let's move the whole thing here just let's move it here and then go to brush I'm thinking something like this right and let's paint it and then start Maybe it would be better to like do it here. I don't know. I will actually do this longer, like this. Yeah, that's better. And then fill the hole that we created. And now, looking at this, I'm saying that we will need some more thickness on the Hilt and then respectively let's add some more on the power cell all right <coughs> excuse me now we're ready with our base silhouette uh, actually let's just delete a little bit of the power cell all right we're ready with our with our black silhouette what we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate this and rename it to details then we're gonna check the sign to make the base layer invisible and this will be only our backup if we mess that up and we want to start clean then we're gonna check transparency lock here and 
select grayish color something like sorry I'm on eraser something like that yeah that's good and with the light, the transparency lock selected we don't have to worry about going outside our uh, initial black silhouette now with this gray we're gonna add a second level of details so let's start doing it and I'm using the the two strokes that I showed you earlier, the exact two strokes. Right. And here I will do something like this. And something like this. Right, I think I'm digging it. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Line. Now, you can always draw it. And if you're a good uh, painter and you can draw good, uh, maybe there is this option for you. But since first of all, I can't draw any very good, and secondly, I don't think it's worth the time. It's worth the time to that you put on in drawing. I just do this. I'm more used uh, of doing stuff in Photoshop in 3ds Max anyway. In 3D anyway. So, yeah, that's good. All right, now we have our second layer of depth, and we will select the black with I. You can use this, uh, the eyedropper tool, or you can go and select here, it doesn't matter. But let's select black, and with our brush and really reduced size, we'll start doing some. Details All right, should I do one more? Yeah, I think so All right, and then let's little bit brush and cover it cover here sorry and cover here all right now we have here some we have some details on the back let's do some on the heel guard I'll do one here and I will do one here and one very close to it Something like that and now if we select a third color of gray something that is even darker like darker than than the main gray we can add a third level of depth of depth just a few strokes uh, don't take you as I said don't take your time with it you will end up doing eight more you don't want to spend like gajillion hours on the first one and then not end up using it you see that I don't even know what I'm doing half the time it's just getting ideas out of your head and into the drawing board and I think that's really helpful alright this is my first design uh, I will just do some adjustments I will unlock the transparency and reduce the size of it like this then lock it again go to brush select black increase increase the size of it and we do it alright that's our first blade I will make one more just to show you a little bit of different technique we'll be using and then I will either pause it or time lapse the rest of the video and we'll catch up uh, after that. So let's control, uh, click, select both layers and hit control G to group it and call it V1. And this is our very one. You can, sorry, I pressed brush, uh, I pressed the brush tool. You can like put V1, V2, V3, I don't know if you're presenting it to a client. But for our personal project, we'll just go straight up to a new layer rename it base once again and start and begin from the start 
select black and this one I will do with some kind of a like I wouldn't say it is symmetry but it actually kind of is the Photoshop uh, the Photoshop equ equivalent of symmetry right like this and for the power cell this one will have more intricate more a delicate power cell like this yeah I, I think this is something that I could get used to although if we make it bigger yeah bigger is better <laughs> Right, this is actually it. Now we'll just control, uh, we'll just press Control J to duplicate it and go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. Right, this is not what we are ending up with. Now, if we press, if we hold Shift and with the Move tool here, or just pressing V, we can move it and create a whole new light. Now, a whole new lightsaber. Now, this is uh, kind of a thick so let's bring it in like this ignore the penisy look it will change I'm fairly sure of it let's um, click the two layers and merge them I'm just kind of obsessed with keeping all my layers named and grouped properly in the layers tab but you don't have to be uh, an obsessive douche like me. If you want to be though, be nobody can tell you who you are. Anyway, let's double click on it and rename it details. Let's hide this one. Oh, uh, sorry, I actually created a new layer. Let's control J to duplicate it. Hide that one. Details. Lock the transparency on it and Yep, you guessed it. We are using our gray again. I will break this one here. For sure, I'll break this one just so it's not completely uh, Darth Vader's penis. Right. Uh, let's unlock the transparency right now. And let's... Uh, here and whoops and here no just this okay this will do yeah this will do okay let's lock transparency again go back to our brush reduce the size of it and let's create two Great pause here, like this, and then one across. I think that's good. And then again, the power cell will be once again a gray color. And I don't know, maybe the gray could be metal and the black could be leather or some other material. It's all part of what you end up with. I'm seeing this, I'm not, I'm fairly sure I'm not going to end up with it, but. No matter, I will continue with the. I will continue with the uh, details just a little bit more because. Well, because you never know. Maybe I will find some element of it that I will like and use it. And use it uh, to combine it with an element of another sort that I created. Right now, here I'm seeing this as a let's break the shape just a little bit so it's not all right. This is our second blade, and it's not going to be. Uh, what we'll end up with, I'm pretty sure, but you never know.
Right, this is it. Okay, let's uh, let's time lapse it, I think, and I'll catch you up in a bit. Okay, see ya. All right, we're in time lapse now. Mm -hmm. This is the third lightsaber I'm doing. It ended up being some kind of a cutlass-like design uh, for the hilt. I mean, obviously you can't have a curved blade. So it has a hilt. It has a hand guard throughout the whole hilt. Kind of what they did in. Uh, the Rebels, I think, the new Star Wars animated series. And it looks cool, but it's not what we talked about. It doesn't hold to this universal rules, and even though I'm not constrained by them, I would like to keep up with them and this is how I actually work I take my time with two or three of the variants when I'm concepting and then put on some music and just start getting ideas of my head uh, without thinking too much about it these are actually uh, separate uh, sessions I know it looks like one big video on the time lapse but it actually took me uh, more than one sitting in, in front of Photoshop to do it because I tend to start repeating myself when I work uh, too much so I just do a couple and then this one actually was uh, was getting to be too much like the one above it so I took a break uh, got a beer and when I came back I just scratched the whole the whole layer and started anew and I came up with this one which is different than the four other the three others so point taken it work it works better when you get beer. This one it turned out to be pretty aggressive. Uh, I don't think we'll be doing it just because I don't think if most of the guys will like to do a Sith blade, maybe they will. Because this definitely wouldn't be wielded wielded by any Jedi. It's a, a dark side blade, and it just like the the silhouette just screams dark side, in my opinion. So I finish it and I start a new one. This one is really cool. It uh, another one that doesn't have all these uh, rules and guidelines that we talked about, but I think it's really great. I uh, here I just cut it and move the part with it and then just drive straight lines to make it longer. I add the gray again and yeah, I uh, for this one I really like the heel design. You'll see just in a second. This is what I really enjoyed about this blade. And this one is actually, I think, the best one that we made during the session because it's uh, it has more vintage looks than any one of the others. It's uh, something straight from episode four or something like that. It may need it. We may need to add a, a power cell, but. I think even without it, it looks good and something that we can work with in 3ds, in 3DS Max. Like I'm adding uh, gray, so right now you can see that uh, the black is thinner and underneath the gray. For the last concept, I went with a more ancient look, something from the Old Republic, uh, maybe. Uh, I was honestly I was getting out of ideas and I just went with something that is uh, that resembles the one we saw in the collage that I made from Google from the uh, lightsabers in the game but it also ended up being pretty decent uh, it has some cool features in it that uh, would look really nice in 3D so 
I don't, who knows? Maybe we'll use this one. We'll see. All right, the time lapse is almost done, so I'll stop with the blabbering and just come back to you when we finish uh, this last concept. Till then. All right, guys, we're back from time lapse and into real time. These are the f the eight variants that we created during the sped up time. As you can see, I have uh, compiled them in folders from 1 through 8. So, let me tell you what we are going to do. Uh, I will post the next chapter, the next episode in about 10 days. And in this time, I want you to leave me feedback uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, on, in the comment section down below, on which uh, variant do you like the most. And we'll proceed with it. For now, we will create uh, another document with V7 just because personally I enjoy enjoy the most and we'll create it uh, so the way so we can use it as a reference plane in 3ds Max for our next episode so let's go to a new canvas uh, and it will make we'll make it 1280 by 720 we will unlock the background layer and rename it to BG and once again, we'll fill it with 50% gray. Don't forget, this is just my personal preference. You can do any color you like for background. And what we're going to do is we're going to undock this uh, document with the eight variants from Photoshop. And then we'll drag the V7 folder into the new document. And we're going to close the document with the main variants. All right, we're almost there. The only thing we it that that's left to do is to right click on the folder and convert to smart object. This way, when we scale it up, we won't lose any uh, any pixels and any resolution. So we're gonna cr press Control T to bring the transform to, and holding Shift Note, we'll just scale it up like this, and click check button. To confirm the transformation, and then with our uh, with our uh, smart object selected, we're gonna press Control A to select all the, uh, to select everything in the canvas, and with the V two or the Move two that uh, it's accessible by pressing V, we're gonna click those two buttons to center it inside the canvas. All right, we're gonna press Control D to deselect it, and clicking right button, we will rasterize it. So now we have a normal layer that didn't lose any pixels and any resolution when we transformed it to scale it up. All right, this is what we're gonna end up in with in 3ds Max. So let's go to File, Save as, go to episode one not the ref and I'll go to J uh, I'll make a JPEG and I'll go to AP one underscore V7 that's it V7 so we're gonna save it we're gonna bring it to the largest file possible and we're gonna press OK and that's it this is uh, the, the picture that will bring as a reference in 3ds Max in the next episode to um, to block out our lightsaber before going into ZBrush to add the really cool stuff. In the description below the video, you'll find a JPEG for each of the eight variants, alongside a PSD file containing the the Photoshop uh, work that we did today. So once again, leave me your feedback on Facebook, on Twitter, in the comment section down below, and the blade that you like the most we will proceed it proceed with in 3ds max next week to block out our blade before going to zbrush and doing some really cool sculpting stuff all right guys that's for this episode we'll see each other in about 10 days or something like that stay safe stay cool and see you then If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it, click the subscribe button to stay tuned for the new stuff when they come online. Don't forget to share and leave a comment down below with what you want to see next from me. See ya!